听见那那那那那那那那 ，But it's better on your collar, so go bye 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 bye. Hi, I know you're lying, 'cause your lips are moving. Hey guys, so today's tutorial is going to be on this holiday makeup and hair, and honestly, you guys, I couldn't wait any longer to do a holiday makeup look. I actually put up my Christmas tree a few days ago. I can't help it, Christmas isn't long enough. So if you know me, this is a different kind of look because I use a lot of warm colors and you guys should be proud because in this look I did silver, black, and green. When have you guys ever really seen me use those colors? So thumbs up for trying new things. I feel like I used a good mix of products in this look. I used some of the new Anastasia eyeshadows which are amazing, you'll definitely be seeing me use more of those. And then I used quite a bit of drugstore makeup in this look, so thumbs up for that because I feel like I haven't been using as much drugstore makeup as I should, but I love drugstore makeup, so I tried to use a lot in this look, and then I used my Numi wand for my hair. So I hope you guys enjoy this look. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you have any requests for any videos during the holiday. I plan on doing a lot of makeup looks and maybe like a gift guide, like an affordable one, so let me know down below. I love you and if you want to see how I got this look then please keep watching okay so first I'm going to prime my eyelids with soft ochre paint pot from Mac you can use any eye primer you want this is just my favorite and then I'm gonna take makeup geek eyeshadow in frap or frappe and just apply this in the crease back and forth it's gonna start to add definition to the eye and it'll help all of our darker colors blend a lot easier Next I'm taking the new Anastasia eyeshadow in the shade Metal. Look how gorgeous this eyeshadow is. I'm going to apply it with my finger just because I feel like it applies better and warms up when you use your finger with this kind of glittery finish. And I'm going to apply that from the inner part all the way to the center of the eye. Then I'm going to take the color Noir. This is a matte black and I'm just going to take a flat shader brush and start patting it on the outer corner of the eye where we didn't put the silver color. And you just want to pat it all the way up right to the crease and then I'm going to take a Sigma E25 blending brush and start blending that color out up into the crease. I just want a lot of depth on that outer corner. I'm also going to use a tapered blending brush to kind of get in that socket of the eye and then I'll go back to the crease brush and just blend it out until it's blended into the crease. Then you can go back and add a little bit more black because you lose a little bit when you blend. And then I'm going to take a clean blending brush just to kind of blend the brown and the black together a little bit more because when you always use the same brush it can get a little bit muddy. Then I'm going to clean up any fallout with makeup remover, but first can I have some coffee? My blood type is Starbucks. I'm not even kidding, it keeps me going. So now moving on to eyeliner, I'm using Inglot Gel Liner just to add a wing. Then I'm going to move on to mascara and lashes. You can apply any mascara you want, and then I'm using Velour Lashes in the City Lashes. I always wear these, especially during holiday, because they're so fluffy and full, and they just glam up any makeup look. I'll link them down below with the coupon code if you're interested. Moving on to the face, I'm gonna use Maybelline's Baby Skin Primer. This just covers up any large pores on the face and it's really affordable. You can find it at Target or any drugstore. And I'm just gonna press it into areas of the skin I feel like need it and it's also gonna make my makeup go on a lot smoother. For foundation, I'm using L'Oreal True Match in W3 because I haven't tanned in a while because I'm going to Puerto Rico this week, so I'm hitting pretty pale right now. And I'm just going to buff it in with an angled kabuki from Sigma. I love these two together, and L'Oreal True Match is one of my favorite drugstore foundations. Then for concealer, I'm going to use Maybelline's Dream Lumi in the shade Nude. These are similar to the Prep and Prime pens from MAC, but these give a little bit more coverage, so I actually prefer these. And I'm just going to blend it in a triangle underneath the eyes, and then set everything with my banana powder from Anastasia. For the waterline, I'm gonna use this metallic silver eyeliner from Anastasia Beverly Hills because I feel like it gives a really fun holiday pop to the look and it makes your eyes look really big. And then for the lower lash line, I'm going to apply this matte green from Morphe. I'm just going to blend this back and forth on the lower lash line. And you can use any color you want. You could use 
blue, you could use purple, you could just use black or brown or just leave it plain, but I thought the green really brought the holiday look together. Then for the inner corner, I'm gonna take Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek and then finish off the eyes with some mascara on the lower lashes. So moving on to the cheeks, I'm gonna take this bronzer from Smashbox and just contour my cheeks with my NARS Eda brush. And I like to go in the hollows of the cheeks and then kind of blend it upwards. And also on the temples, the sides of my nose and around my forehead. For blush, I'm using Down Boy from The Balm. This is my favorite pink blush. I don't wear pink blush that often, but when I do, it's usually this color because it is so flattering. I love it. Then for that dewy look, I'm going to apply Bronze Glow from Bobbi Brown. For all of those who have tweeted, Snapchatted, and Instagrammed me that you got this, I told you it's freaking amazing. For the lip color, I chose a nude lip. I'm gonna take Strip Down Liner from MAC and then apply this lipstick from Maybelline, the new MAC collection, and this is called Daringly Nude. This is becoming one of my favorite nude lipsticks. It is so pretty. And then for gloss, I'm gonna use Shimmer of Hope from Gerard Cosmetics, which is a nude pink, so it's gonna add a little bit more color. And now that we're done with the makeup, we can move on to the hair. I'm gonna use my Numi Lustrum set. It comes with five different barrel sizes, so pretty much everything that you would need. And I'm going to use the 25 millimeter to curl my hair. And I like to set mine in this little hot tool holder. It makes everything a lot easier. It just suction cups to any kind of surface. And I'm gonna first section my hair half up, and I'm gonna work in kind of one inch to two inch sections. I want my hair to be more of a wave. I don't want it to be too curled. Early. And the thing I love about this wand is I can curl my hair and two days later it still looks just as good. The curls just soften up a little bit which I really like because it looks really effortless. Plus since it comes with five different barrels, once you buy a set like this you really don't need anything else for a long time because you can create any kind of look you want from really tight curls to big curls all the way up into waves. I try to take smaller sections as I get towards the front of my hair, but I'm doing the same thing, just curling away from my face. Numi was nice enough to give me some coupon codes for you guys for holiday, so I will link them down below. I have one for 60% off the whole website, plus free shipping, and then I have another code for 20% off their holiday catalog. And this is a great gift for holidays, especially with the discount for your bestie, your mom, your sister, whoever, so check that out down below in the description bar. And can I just say, curling your hair is a workout. My arm get so tired don't you bring them tears cause it's too late too late baby Ooh, you once I'm done, I just run my fingers through the curls to soften them up and kind of make them look a little bit messy. And then I'll take a little bit of the argan oil, run it through the hair just to make it really shiny and smooth. And I always get compliments on how soft my hair looks when I use this. So now that the hair is done, your look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what you want to see next and tag me if you recreate. I love you and I will see you in my next video. my favorite bag of life. I don't know what all is in here. Look, oh, this is really embarrassing. I love Reese's chips. This is my baby. If anyone tries to mess with me, I'm gonna tase them.